Arlong's empire? He's trying to build his own nation? So, then he's gonna turn all of East Blue to his fishman empire? That would include my hometown too. Whatever happen happens, all we can do is quietly sit still and endure it. For now, that is it. For now? Ah! What's that? Jen! Possessing a weapon is a clear sign of rebellion. The cause of any unrest and disturbance in my lands. And so, to make sure that there aren't any more rebels like you, I'll kill you to show the other villagers what happens to rebels. What? All he did was collect some weapons? He's seriously going to kill someone over that much? That son of a... Noyiko starts running. Hey, you, come back here or you'll be killed. What's the meaning of this, Arlong? All of us here have loyally paid the tribute without any complaints for the past eight years. There is no way any of us have even the slightest intention of rebelling against you. So let go of Jen. Nojiko, wait. I already stated that the mere act of possessing weapons is a clear intent to rebel. I have no choice but to kill this man for the safety and security of my lands. Any complaints? You wouldn't rather have me destroy this entire village, would you? Now this, humans. If you lay even a finger on any of one of us, your village will be destroyed. That's final. Everyone, go inside your homes. If you rebel now, then our last eight years will come to nothing. If you want to reject the rules by fighting to our deaths, we should have done it long ago. But we all swore, did we not? We swore to a fight of anger in order to live on. Jen, but... Well said. Living is important. It is because one lives, one can enjoy things. Arlong smashes Gensel's head into a pole. Ugh. Everyone has their own designated place and position in life. This man understands the futility of resisting against that fact. You see, not all living things are born equal. <laughs> humans are best living like humans. Why you? Stop it. <coughs> Jen, but he... Don't you dare lay a finger on them. Yes, that's what he said. But it's not as if he used his weapons. Please don't kill him. A loud bunch, aren't they? I wonder if I should take this as a sign of rebellion. If we die here, everything will come to an end. You must keep on fighting, even if I die. Let me show you what happens to those who harbor ill thoughts. Watch closely, humans. Arlong lifts him over his head. Jen! Let this be a warning to the rest of you. Gunpowder Star! An explosion occurs on Arlong. Ugh! Jen falls down. What? What was that? Arlong! Look over here. There's someone standing on the roof. Identify yourself. I am the brave and heroic warrior of the seas, Captain Usopp. Huh? Usopp? Never heard of him. It's him. Who is that? Feared by the entire world as the man from hell, they call me Usopp the Wicked Devil King. I have 8,000 followers at my command. Free at once and I shall consider forgiving you. Arlong, it's him. He's the guy I told you about earlier who escaped from me. I don't care if you got tens of thousands of followers. Just try me. I'll crush every single last one of them. Ah, he's not scared at all. And my gunpowder star didn't work at all. Even though you're just a puny human, lowly human scum, you dare attack me? Arlong lifts up the house that Usopp is standing on. Ah! Usopp screams. Oh, Arlong, wait. You're not going to destroy another village, are you? Human villages are easy to crush, but our goal is to rule over them. If we turn this town into another Gosa village, then our tribute funds will decrease again. If our tribute fund decreases, then all we have to do is conquer another village. We are the supreme beings. Our villages... He's... Crap, he's going to kill me. He's gonna kill me. He's still alive. After him, don't let him escape. Catch him and kill him. 
Let's return him to Arlong Park for now. At this rate, he's gonna annihilate this entire village. We'll be back. But it looks like you have managed to live another day. Usopp keeps running for his life. Ah! Hey you! Stop right there! Certain kill egg star! Usopp shoots an egg in the face of one of the fishermen. Ugh! Gah. Ugh! It reeks! This egg is rotten! D did it work? You bastard! Ah! Jen, we need to get you treated! No, I'm fine. I can manage on my own, sorry for all the trouble I caused everyone. What are you talking about? You are not the one at fault here. That's right. As if anyone would abide all their irrational rules. But who was the guy earlier? Do you know him, Jen? No. Can't say I do. Long time no see, everyone. Nami. Na-chan. Nami appears and there is a weird feeling. What is it? Do you think that you of all people would decide to stroll through the middle of the town? Oh, nothing. Just curious what all the ruckus I heard was about. Guess it was Arlong. Only seven million bellies left. You're as infamous as ever. Well, I'm a pirate, but Arlong knows what's what. He knows money can get anything done, so it'll only be a little more until his promise. No matter what, I'm going to raise a hundred million berries so I can buy this town. Nami smiles. Even if she tells me to leave, I don't have anything to do outside of here after all. I promised Luffy to bring her back. Sanji sitting on a throne with a bunch of fishmen dead on the floor. Jeez, seems like I got myself tied up in a complicated mess. Arlong's Park, main entrance. Do do da do, looks like it's about time. Momo, time for your meal. A dark shadow comes out from a cave under the water. Huh? What's that trumpet noise I hear just now? That strings. What's with him? Roasted pig should be his favorite. Maybe he already had his meal. Well, I'll just eat this then. Was that you who blew the trumpet just now? No. Who, who are you? Who me? I'm Hachan. You can call me Hachi. So you're a fishman too? Yup, yup. I'm a charming octopus fishman. I feel like I seen you before. Are you with the marines or are you a guest? Guest? Yeah, I'm probably more of a guest. But you know, Arlong's not here right now. Yeah, he's not. Where'd he go? It seems like this long-nosed intruder got away from us. We already have one of his companions tied up here. But Arlong went to Kokuyashi village to go catch another human. Must be Usopp, well. I guess I'll go save him in the meanwhile, thinks Oro. How can I get to that village? Get on, you're a guest, aren't you? I'll give you a list. What's that? It's huge. Ah! A massive sea cow appears. It's a sea monster! He came out to the wrong place. He's a member of the Arlong Pirates fighter. The sea cow, Mumu. A cow? It's so big! A cow? And it swims? Isn't that just a hippo? What's a creature like this doing in East Blue? It's inconceivable. The cow keeps sniffing. <laughs> this is a Grand Line monster. It must want the food. Hurry up and just give the food before he overturns our ship. Gamma Gamma no pistol. Luffy punches it straight on the face. Don't you dare touch my food. You did it, brother Luffy. That was amazing. Ah, uh, it looks like you just made it angrier. Moo. I'll suck him one more time then. You dumbasses, don't just beat up something only for being hungry. The Sanji angry and kicks him on the head. I'm sure it's injured somewhere, so he can't find food on his own. Isn't that right? Talk about caring. Sanji hands it a dish. Here, eat up. He then kicks it in the face. Die! What was that? That thing was about to take a bite out of me too. Moo. Ah, uh, it's coming to sink the ship. Then I'll move over. I'll deal with him myself, says Sanji and jumps. Collier. Shot. 
he kicks the hippo and it spits out blood. Damn hippo. Whoa! Whoa. The sea monster loses his consciousness and falls. All right, let's eat. That was a nice little exercise. These people are insane. Yosuke, give me some tea. Me too. Coming right up. We are here. This is Kokoyashi village. How long should be here somewhere? All right, thanks. Don't mention it. Take care and come visit again. Bye then. Yeah, he's a strange fisherman, all right. So that sawnos is in this town too, huh? Well, whatever. I'll look for our long nose first. What's the meaning of this? Just what on earth happened here? My brethren! Ron or Sora, that pirate hunter, did he come for my head? No, that's not it. That guy was Sora. The guy with the haramaki we caught earlier was Sora. What? Shoo! I finally caught him. I could have killed him. Shoo! But I thought you'd feel a lot better if you killed him yourself. That pipsqueak ain't nearly enough to satisfy my rage right now. R right? Then well, why don't you just let me go, huh? The uh, thing I did earlier was just my way of saying hello. Everyone in my hometown says hello that way. Chew, wait a minute. What happened here? Could it have been Sora? Thinks Usopp. But how did he escape? Have you considered this line of thought, Arlong? Maybe Nami purposely brought him here so he could try to take your head. Nami? Now that you mention it, she was acting pretty funny today. Hmm. Yeah, she did dive into the water to save him. Betraying people is her specialty after all. All right, that's enough. Don't just make conclusions from false premises. Just what are you trying to say? Nami, so you really... Eight years ago, I swore on this tattoo that I'll be a member of the Arlong Pirates. It won't even be long before I raise up the promised amount. So why would I risk all of that by pulling a stupid son like this? That sorrow, he just had to go and cause more necessary trouble. Yeah, of course, my bad. My bad. I apologize for doubting you. Considering you've been nothing but a loyal crewmate for the past eight years, you are certainly more than justified to get angry at us. We were a little too rash, but we believe you. The one we need to get rid of right now, a raw nor a sorrow, and his companion. Arlong pulls a dagger to Usopp's throat. Wait, wait, help! What? Usopp was taken to Arlong Park? Yeah, I just saw him being taken there. Son of a... I just missed him. Luffy and the gang are getting pulled by the cow. Yahoo! Faster, faster! Full speed ahead to Arlong Park!